Hello friends, today we will discuss our topic that is remote monitoring. Well, the remote monitoring is very important topic as per the computer network. In the computer network we are having the performance management in which we have the remote monitoring. Remote monitoring basically used to monitor somebody which is at the remote locations. Example, we are having some remote computer and we want to access or check out that particular computer then we use the remote monitoring method. So the first one in the remote monitoring is the remote monitoring use tools to gather information regarding the applications and hardware operating in the remote client location. That means the remote monitoring basically use some particular tools, example the remote monitoring for a particular telecom sector, maybe a particular local server or the remote server and these tools particularly gather the information regarding the applications or maybe the hardware which are using at the remote side and will collect all this information. Now the next part of the remote monitoring is to supply activity reports to IT service provider so that they can resolve the issue. But the next part of the remote monitoring method is to supply the activity reports. That means whenever they collect the information about the remote server or the client then they gather the information and the report to the IT service provider. Now the IT service provider track the information and resolve the issue. In the remote monitoring we are having two different techniques. The first technique is pulling and the second is trap. When an event is occurred, a new device that creates a simple trap. And it's corresponding to that trap, management system then pulls the network device to get the necessary information. That means the polling is the action that is in the response of the trap. Trap is basically check out whether there is a problem or the event is occurred in particular remote location. And when we find out that particular remote location, a particular event or maybe the problem, then the management will take the action with the help of the pool. And pool will take and collect all the information regarding that. Now to understand pooling in trap, let us take the example of a switch and the NMS. NMS stands for the Network Management System. So first we will draw the switch. Let us pull this the switch. And secondly we are having an NMS that is Network Management System. Now whenever the switch find out any of the error or the event that is occurred in the remote location, it will inform the NMS regarding that event with the help of trap message. Now the NMS that is the network management system will take the particular information with the switch with the help of poll message which we call as a polling. Now the first of all we will discuss about the polling. Under the polling we are having two main functions. The first one is select and second one is poll. Under the polling two more functions are there. The first one is the select function and second one is poll function. Well if you talk about the polling the polling works with the topology in which the one system or the device is designed as the primary station and the other device as the secondary station. The primary device just control the link and secondary device follow its instruction. So the primary device is determined which device is allowed to use the channel at the given time. So the basic function we have the first one is select. Under the select function whenever the primary system wants to send the data it tells the secondary system to get ready to receive this is called the select function so that means the select function is used when primary wants to send some data so next we have the pool function now if the primary system wants to receive the data it asks the secondary system if they have anything to send this is called the pool function that means the primary system wants to receive data so that means we are having the two functions that is the select and pool and the primary system wants to receive some data then we will use the pool function and the primary system wants to send some data then we will use the select functions. So that means to understand these functions and the D we will just take the example of both of these functions. So first of all we will take the function that is the select function. So let's draw the diagram. So let us suppose we have a three system that is P. B stands so this one is our primary system and we are having two more systems that is A and B. These are the secondary systems and they are connected with the primary system with the help of bus topology. Now I am going to draw the timeline for the primary system and the last secondary system. 
and I will provide you all the communication between the primary and the secondary one. Then we will discuss the select function. Let's first of all draw the timeline. So first of all we have the timeline for the primary system and we have the timeline for the base system and the secondary system. Now, for example, the primary system wants to start the communication or we want to send the data to some way or the secondary system. In that case, the primary will send a select message to secondary system. That means P will send the select message to B. When P will send the select message, then it will inform the B that I want to send something. So in that case, B will send the reply as the acknowledgement. Now B will send the ACK signal to P. ACK stands for the acknowledgement. That means you can send the data. Now the primary system receives the acknowledgement, it will send the data to the secondary system. Now when the data is uh, received by the secondary system or the system B, then it will send uh, again acknowledgement signal to primary system that I have received the data. Now the acknowledgement is received by the primary system, that means it is the surety the data is delivered. So that is all about the select function. The complete sending of data is called the select function. Now the next we will discuss the pool function. Now, the next we have the pool function. Under the pool function, that means the primary system wants to receive some data, then you will ask the secondary system to send me the data. So to understand the pool function, let us take the example of the same system in which we are having uh, three systems. The first one is the primary and second two systems are the secondary and we will draw the timeline for the primary system as well as for the secondary system. Now we have drawn the timelines for the primary system, for the A system and the B system. And the pool message for the pool function states that the system or the primary system wants to receive some data. Now, the primary will start the communication and will send the pool message to A. Now the A system come to know that P, that is the primary system, wants to receive some data but A don't have any data to send. So it will send the negative acknowledgement to P. Now the NAK stands for the negative acknowledgement. Now the primary system come to know that A doesn't have any data so that it can't be sent the data from A to P. Now the P will send the pool message to the next system the next secondary system that is B. Now B come to know that the primary system P wants to receive some data. In that case the B will send the data to P. Now P receives the data from the B system or the from secondary system. When the data is received the P will send the positive acknowledgement that is ACK acknowledgement to system number B or the secondary system. Now the system B has a secondary system receives the acknowledgement from the primary system and it come to know that the data is successfully delivered to the primary system P. So that is all about the select and pool function. Now we will discuss the next technique that is trap. Next we have the trap. So whenever an event is occurred, the network device generate a signal that is called the trap. Trap is a simple SNMP package containing an alert that some type of problem has occurred. Whenever the agent discovers a problem of any kind, a trap is sent to its configured management system. Trap is a one-way packet, that means it can be only sent from the agent to the management system. The management station does not reply to the agent to confirm its received trap. So that means once a packet is sent from the user agent to management, there is no confirmation or no particular packet sent from the management to that particular user agent. So to understand the trap, let us take the example of a router as well as a system. Let us suppose I am having a switch. I will provide the name the S to the switch. Here S stands for switch. And the next we are having system that is NMS. I will provide the name as NMS. And the NMS stands for the network management system. Now let us suppose we are having uh, some problem which is just trapped by the switch that will inform to a particular NMS to the network management system. So let's draw the timeline for the switch and NMS. So we can see that the agent can also contribute to the management process. Right. So whenever the switch is fired off, any of the error or the event that is occurred with the nearby switch, it will send a particular trap message to the NMS. So NMS come to know that there is some error on the event occurred at the part of switch. Now in that case, the agents come to know about the particular event. 
So whenever the agent contribute in the management process, the server program running on the agent can check the environment and if it notices something unusual, it can send a warning message that we call as a trap. And the trap is sent to the management or the manager. That's what we call it as the network management system. So that is all about the two methods that is the pulling and trap under the remote monitoring techniques. So that is all about the remote monitoring and its techniques. Thank you.